Okay, so next up we have Patrick Houston and Stuart Barbie. Patrick recently broke the 70 meter world record with 348. Man of the moment. Patrick Houston! Okay, so he's rocking some new shades there. From Edinburgh, this is probably the most well-travelled finalist I've ever seen. Two and a half thousand miles of travelling he's done to compete in this event this year. Um, he's based in Edinburgh. All of the all of the rounds were down in down in the southern part of England. He's constantly been on the road to do this event. Um, all credit to him. He was, he's had some great wins. He won the the, uh, the first round in Oxford, and he shot a PB in the last round at Exmouth as well. Um, great shot. Um, a lot of people will notice probably that he's he's using a, a swing bar, which he he was using quite a lot last year, and then he started using it again towards the second part of the season. And uh, they're, they're few and far between in this country. And he always. Uh, it always generates a second look from people when, when you see people using them. But he's using it to great effect. And hopefully, he's going to come out fighting today. But he's going to have to do a bit better than that against Patrick. <laughs> Patrick's laid his intentions down. Yeah. Back at you. Ten. Ooh, are we going to see our first 10 10 of the day? First three arrows. And it's in. Fantastic. 10, 10, 10. Okay, so uh, Patrick Houston has arrived on the field. I think it might be a problem for Stuart Barbie. Stuart Barbie is going to forget about that right now. Okay, we got uh, Sue Richards as the judge in charge of this match. Okay, so perfect first set from Patrick and uh, Stuart just needing to dial it in a little bit. Yeah, it's going to be. Um, where do you go from there, really? If, you can, if your opponent opens up with the 30, you've just got to focus in on your own shooting now and just shoot some strong shots and put some put a group together. Yeah, and a little tension through his front yeah. arm. <laughs> Relocated to Lillishaw. Um, late last year and he's been training full time um, Patrick has and um, that does results of that training and that dedication he's been putting in is really starting to really starting to show through now I think in a way it's a little bit a little bit late in the year I'd like to have seen how how people on the world stage would have reacted to him as he as he is at the moment because he's he's really starting to show his class and Future's bright with Patrick. Well, we still have one more World Cup this year, and uh, we'll wait for oh an yeah, announcement yeah, to Columbia. see, yeah, to see if, uh, if any of our archers get selected to go to that. I think it'd be a wise investment to send him, uh, just as a way of rounding off a great year for him, and also give him that exposure that he that he you know, that he deserves and, he, and that, he, that he yearns as well. Because I think it's all, 
he's very very pragmatic in what he does and he's, he's very you know, the motivation that he's got is, is very intrinsic and I think even if even if he didn't wasn't trained at Lillish Hall and none of that existed he'd, he'd still shoot well he, he all of the support and encouragement he gets just augments his attitude and and the work that he does it doesn't you know it's not a be all and end all he'd shoot well no matter what yeah and he's one of the few recurve archers uh, along with Naomi that actually do an indoor season as well uh, and I think that just just helps you to stay sort of uh, competition fit as it were your, your brain's still um, in that competition mode yeah you're still in your you're still in your competition shot aren't you yeah he did the um, the national series uh, stage at Exmouth, and then he, he drove straight down Lillishall, and he was in the, the youth festival for a week after. So he was he must have been you know living his competition shot. He was in it would have been nine days of competition in total, mm. and that's that's a hell of a run. But, you know he's just lapping it up at the moment. He yeah. looks confident, doesn't he? Does. He does, yeah. I Again, mean, everybody drifting just that bit to the right. He is quite a character as well, is uh, Patrick. And a nice guy to talk to. Yeah, he's keen as mustard. He comes down to my club uh, during the week. He doesn't have to, but he comes down and then he... Uh, he comes down just for a break to get away from the performance unit and he's, he's coaching a lot of guys down at my club as well and you know, he gives a lot back and, it, and it's great to see and I, and I think he does that just out of enjoyment of the sport there's no um, um, you know, there's no he doesn't need to do that yeah, he's on singing today isn't he he's fantastic well I was, I'm, a bit, I'm disappointed for Stuart I think he, he just he's made a bit of a brick wall there um, and I think perhaps he knew it but what an opening what an opening round for Patrick and he's off to he's off, off straight away he's out of there he just wants to possibly get back to the practice field do a bit more shooting I know that when he's shooting well he likes to shoot a lot or maybe he just wants to get away from the bit and get away from it all <laughs> so now we have your choice for uh, gold. Oh no, mine! Ah, your choice first. Okay, so uh, this would have actually been my pick for a gold medal match, actually. Yeah, yeah I think a lot of people that I spoke to have said that this is the final, but. Not me. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> no, so we got Larry shooting first. It's like to nice say to that, see the, yeah. uh, the sportsmanship between the two archers. I didn't hold each other in very high esteem. Um, well, Larry's been a role model for a lot of these yeah. uh, juniors. Yeah, that's, um, what was, that's what I was looking for, really. A lot of people looking up to him. And I think. I think Larry acknowledges that, that Patrick's, you know, he's, he's brought something special to the sport, and in the future, you know, he's got a superb future ahead of him. Ten points. That's the way to open past, up. But he's got to get past <laughs> Larry first. <laughs> and I'm sure Larry won't be wanting no. uh, to be beaten. Ten points. Oh, it's going to be a very boring match that's going to end up with a one hour shoot off at this rate. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be more about how many people, <laughs> how, many, how many people miss the night, the, the 10, as opposed to how many people hit it. Oh, Larry certainly come out with some intention. Yeah. Holding that bit. Yeah, oh. that's it. <laughs> this oh, is awesome shooting. Fantastic. See if Larry can uh, throw down a 10 10 10. That'll do. Absolutely fantastic start from Larry. Can Patrick match it? Oh. 
that would have been superb for two thirties. <laughs> but uh, even so, that was that was some great arrows. And I think about massive, massive smile on Patrick's face there. I think they're both they're both enjoying this. <laughs> the, the chatting to one another, you, you rarely see that in a match. No, and it's nice, you know, you're both there to to do a job, but you know each other. They, they've trained together at Little Shore a lot, and, uh, you know, both will be wanting to shoot a good match, and both will be wanting each other to shoot a good match, because nobody likes to, to win when somebody's not shooting great. So, yeah. um, I seem to remember uh, Larry and Alan Mills coming out and just having an afternoon shooting one another at this event a couple of years ago and they were just chattering away in between arrows really it was like two mates gone training together with you know, a couple of thousand people watching <laughs> Yes, he did, and uh, news in today that uh, from Korea that Ojin Yuk has shot 353 at 70 you think meters. That's in direct response to Patrick. Um, I don't know. I think uh, to actually make the Korean team is, is shockingly difficult. Hmm. Um, I think I looked uh, the other year at their Eight, national championships four. and on a 1440 round, the top 60 odd men were shooting over 1300. Um, that's depth, isn't it? That's, it that's is. Depth that we can Nine point. it 29 is. points there for Patrick and on I'm the second set. I'm sure that that 700 barrier is going to go very soon. Yeah. For the 720. Yeah. 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 yeah, definitely. I mean, it was close at, in London. We had him, him Dong Young, uh, shooting 699. Mm. So uh, it won't be long before you get a group of guys pushing each other at a tournament. Yeah, it's like a four minute mile, isn't it? As soon as one guy does it. Um, mind you, it'll probably be the, the, the ladies at the, the ladies, Enrique. Uh, Enrique, in terms of, have always led the men in that respect. Normally the Korean ladies, um, but China have been China have been making quite a substantial challenge over the last couple of years as well. We've actually had a question in on Twitter uh, asking what make of uh, Bow Larry shooting. What model? He's shooting yeah. a win and win, but yeah, I'm not sure it, what model it is. No, so I'll try and find out. It's one of the metal metal handled risers. As opposed to the uh, the max. Uh. Is that CTX. Boom. <laughs> That's happy with that. I don't think he's turning into a movie site. <laughs> Nine points. This is great shooting from from both, both guys, guys here. Ooh. Seven. I don't know how much shooting Larry's done uh, in recent weeks because obviously he's had the birth of his twins. Yeah. Whereas uh, Patrick's been on a roll, he, he performed brilliantly in Exmouth and then went on to shoot fabulously at the Youth Festival. Yeah. He's been busy this week giving uh, archery lessons and having yeah. those to um, football teams in Nottingham, I believe. <laughs> I saw so. that, yeah. So he's, he's helped Badger G be in a lot of promotion for this event. And it's oh, tied tied yeah, score. For that one. Tied score. Tied score, so three set points yeah, each. Patrick would be disappointed with that, I think. I think he, he, he would have felt that he could have he could have capitalised on that seven that Larry put in. But a ten count for this round, for this uh, this particular match, I think it's been higher than probably had more tens than the rest of the matches put together so far. I mean, I think the wind has actually dropped from from this morning, so. Uh, 
that's why we're getting the uh, the higher scores this afternoon. So set four, all square at three all. Not sure who to pick. Brad. <laughs> <laughs> He's on next. Nine points. So looking at Larry's face, everything's a little bit right. Mm. And I think he's just having no, a little the, tweak. Yeah, it's just the, the, the slacker shots are going right, aren't they? Uh, strong arrows are going down. Really. But even his tendons are over that side of the face. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he just needs to uh, tweak his glasses. <laughs> oh, he's got a nine, I think. Got yeah. a nine. I think he's a bit relieved about that as well. Maybe purple glasses are a lot more accurate. Who knows? They look good, though. He's got a lovely, yeah. he's got a lovely colour to him, Patrick. Absolutely fantastic to watch. I was on the target next to him when he shot his 3.48 and uh, it was a privilege to watch. Um, it was depressing when my, my I couldn't match him at 30 <laughs> when he's 70 <laughs> later on in the day and I did, I, did, uh, I did mention that to him. But after he shot that 3.48 he spent the rest of the day levitating, just floating, he was that happy. Great. So 28 points great apiece. Match, great match to watch. One more set, uh, regulation set to shoot, and then uh, oh, shoot off, maybe. That'd be good to watch. Yeah, the proudest man in that there is is probably Larry's father, spotting for him. He's been here every year, I think. Larry to, to start off this uh, this final set and he can exert some pressure on Patrick by shooting uh, by getting some good arrows down yeah, range. Clean up first. A lot of experience uh, on that stage now. I mean, uh, Patrick's a, a world champion at junior level. He's got three titles in all, hasn't he? Mm. Uh, which, he, he again, he's, Patrick's another all-rounder. He's got a lot of uh, extensive field experience. So he's off to the um, European fields with Naomi later in the year. <laughs> superb. Superb. It's not, they're not really that far away from the tenoring, Larry's no. arrows. And I said before, I think it's going to be a case of who gets, how many how many times you miss the ten rather than no, hit it. It's going to count here, isn't it? Really, Larry needs to finish off with the ten here to just put some pressure yes. on Patrick. And he's given it to Patrick now, really. Well, and to be honest, well deserved at the moment yeah. from Patrick. He's shooting think, amazingly. Yeah. And I think the torch has been passed in some respects now. I think Larry knows it. Great piece of shooting. You know, it gave us that depth for the time actually within the Gents recurve arena that that perhaps we're lacking now. Uh, so perhaps maybe um, considering putting the scores up again, maybe we can we can stimulate that uh, stimulate that success again. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for the final match of the day, 
Here we go, gold medal match between Patrick Houston and Kieran Slater. So, uh, I would say at the moment, Patrick is the man on form. Yeah, he's definitely the man at the moment, isn't he? But Kieran has had some some good, you know, has had some good results in the last few weeks and won't be an easy opponent. Kieran's just got to come out fighting now, hasn't he? He's got to put the pressure on. He has. Right from the outset. I think he knows that Patrick's not going to shoot many loose arrows. No. So it'll be Kieran to shoot first. Breeze is picking up a bit now. Yeah. Eight. Notoriously, when it's been breezy, Kieran's shot his best. Mm. Holding on. Eight. Holding on. Okay. Might be just moving around a little yeah. bit more than it was earlier. Yeah. I think what what Patrick's actually got to take into account as well, he's going to feel a bit rushed mm. now because yeah, Kieran shoots so quick. He's going to be putting the pressure on in some respects, doesn't he? He's going to keep things moving. So it's, it's important to take his time and, and hey. use use all the time allotted to him if possible. So a nine to, to take this set. <laughs> and I tend to uh, I tend to see it. Superb. Superb. So Patrick takes the uh, opening set, 28 to 26. Flags are moving a bit now. I uh, just want to say thank you to all the volunteers that have given up their time to uh, to come down and uh, put on this show for the archers. It takes an amazing amount of work. And this uh, this series and finals have actually grown in the last seven years. Yeah, it really is a showcase event now. I seem to remember about two years ago, World Archery came down to uh, actually take a look. So they were taking a look and taking notes on how to put an event like this together. And so. I believe that the Netherlands have their finals on Tuesday, the Lowlands yeah. finals. <laughs> the so Lowlands uh, shootout. Naomi Jones, who's shooting tomorrow, is actually ranked one tomorrow yeah. and at the Lowlands. Nine point. Nine. Another good nine from Kieran there. See what Patrick can reply to. See if he can reply to that. Ten. <laughs> <Good arrow. laughs> Held it a bit longer than I suspect he might have wanted to, but made it work. Eight point. Well, I just got caught out by the by the breeze a bit there. An eight to. Uh, <laughs> you don't need to shoot eights if you, you don't can need shoot eights. No, you don't need eights when you put them in there. Very good. So four tens, a nine, and an eight for Patrick so far. Uh, I like to think he's uh, he's moved on. His move, his aptitudes uh, <laughs> suggest that he's moved into more of an intermediate role in the sport now <laughs> than <laughs> than an absolute beginner. <laughs> it's great to see. Great to see. Uh, somebody coming through the ranks and, and actually stepping up to the mark and shooting world-class scores. Yeah.
4 0 to Patrick. Nine. Good dismount there, <laughs> Patrick. <laughs> managed to pull a nine out of it. I, I think like he might have been sent on his way to the six. <laughs> I do like a bit of steering. Yeah, <laughs> the steerage. <laughs> Yeah, you said six, and Kieran thought you meant shoot one of yeah. those. Good shot. Yeah, that's strong, wasn't it? Nine that's a sign of somebody that's living, living the sport. Nine. Mavara, is he, he's doing it there on a daily basis now. It's phenomenal, and you can see, especially after sort of good twelve months of solid training. Yeah, still in control. And the gold medal goes Six to nil. Patrick Houston. There was no problem. No. Fantastic. That was a pleasure to watch. I need to get myself some purple glasses. I reckon that could be the yeah. key. I want to see you out with it. So other venues in the UK where you can put the finals? Where, where would you like to do this event? I don't know, you see, we've had quite a variety, haven't we? We've had it in Liverpool, but I would say that it was tucked away and then didn't attract the, the public. Yeah. Um, I think um, Leamington was, was a good one because it was in a park, sure. so we had a lot of passers by. Um, I'd like to see, we haven't had anything down south yet, apart from one leg. Apart, apart from this entire maybe London, year. Ma maybe you've <laughs> dropped the Queen a Horse guards. Uh, Horse guards postcard. Parade. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and see, but I think it, uh, we need to find venues like this where yeah. there's a lot of public access. It's free to the public yeah. um, uh, and makes it accessible. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's all those sleepless already. lights. <laughs> it's good to see Larry. I'm a big fan of the, uh, the the City Games in Deansgate in Manchester for the Athletics. Yeah. Every time that's on, uh, I ring John, not the organiser of this, and I say, mate, just turn the television on and watch this. This is where we need to be. And it'd be, uh, it'd be a great location. I think it's, you know, this is growing. Um, so, the, you know, the more councils and uh, even regions that we can get behind this, yeah. the better. Here's the man. Not at the moment. Well deserved. Outperformed everybody. Nice today. bit of hardware he's got there. Yeah. For the mantelpiece. Still playing Jody's out of the World Para champs at the moment. Yeah, I think the Para, para team have had a really successful trip and uh, to, to nail those places early for, for the games takes a little pressure off. Yeah, yeah, they can go into the winter with a bit of, you know with a bit of focus on, on, on the, the matter at hand rather than having to think about the the, you know, the stepping stone from winning quota places Ladies to go into the games. It's a shame he's won some glasses because he's got some nice purple ones. No. <laughs> well, maybe he'll give them to his girlfriend. Perhaps. It's made by you proud. Well, it's been a phenomenal day here in Nottingham. Uh, there's been some great shooting.